if there's one comment I will say, it's I love the fucking water animation. It is just beautiful, okay? I don't know what is it, but it it I, it just makes me go all over the place. Yes, and even stutter in my words. But anyway, let's go over this pretty fucking good episode because my gosh, is this kind of hype? Like, yeah, most of it is just anime addition to try to extend this arc, which isn't one of the longer ones. But fucking hell, I, I just love it. I love Tanjiro coming into U Uzui's like training, which is the first stage of the Hashira training arc, and showing how different he is from a normal demon slayer. Like all of the slayers are having a lot of trouble, and yet Tanjiro is more of a Hashira than anything else, because Season 1, Tondro would have had a enormously hard time in this training than current Tondro. Close enough to passing this training part. But fucking hell, I love the animation. I love the few things regarding like the two demon slayers on patrol. Like one of them is kind of fucking around only to hear something that's like, okay, we probably shouldn't fuck around because I mean, the more you fuck around, the more you'll find out. But anyway, we got upper moon four eye, which yep, a new upper moon four is in play. I think those who have read the manga know who the fuck I'm talking about. But for the most part, uh, we get his wives are saying that he he is a kinder person than he seems because yes, he is training them. Like he's genuinely working super hard to make sure that these players are prepared for the eventual battle with all of the demons and Muzan. Like even Obanai and Sanemi both know, like they don't want to train these people. They view them as not capable to fight an upper moon, which by the way, they should shut the fuck up because for the most part, I, Upper Moon Battles, at least in the next arc, it takes more than one fucking Demon Slayer, except one of them that's honestly a pathetic piece of shit, that uh, it takes more than one Hashira to truly beat an Upper Moon. So they should shut the fuck up. But I did find it interesting we're getting a lot more of those two, because you don't see them a lot prior to this, so they're getting a lot more screen time. Plus, obviously, it shows that they're friends at this point, they share the same wavelength, and they challenge each other for a match. I was a little surprised we didn't see that match, but it would have been kind of, it could have, would have been fun to watch it. I mean, I disliked the two, but watching those two in the first episode was pretty hard, and having those two fight each other would be interesting. Their two different breath styles, how they would kind of go against one another would have been interesting. But back to the Uzui training. We do have uh, the Slayers asking Tondro about the Upper Moons, which, I mean, they kind of get a grasp at. I mean, if you survive, you survive. If you don't, well, you're dead. And <laughs> Tondro's just all positive. I feel like that's funny because Tondro's positivity is very infectious because during the final stages, which I guess I should mention, we do see Gyo again. And while the three wives were saying that Tengen Uzui is a kind person despite how hard she's on them because they mentioned that he will not eat until the last slayer is back from training and he'll drag them if he has to so it shows his kindness which Gyo also has that because he knows that Tondro wants him to be like take part of the training stuff and they were in this competition on who eats the most ramen and he basically let himself loose so he can uh, be, let Tondro be happy. Like these Hashras have a kind of soul. It's just some of them are irritating as hell, but not the point. Back to the awesome fight. Uzui kicking everyone's asses at night because he's a former Shinobi. And it shows because he's good and like stealth stuff. But when you have him throwing hands with Tondro and Tondro, like, I don't know what to say. First of all, Tondro holding his own against Uzui is showing of just how strong he's gotten since the Entertainment District arc. And then Uzui Tengen just one-handedly holding his own is pretty fucking badass. And yes, like, Tandra motivates the others to all jump in and join. And even after they all get their asses handed to them, like, they're all motivated to train even more. Because they 
want to support not only the Hashra, but they, but one of them put Amado Tanjiro as equals to the Hashra. So it shows where they view Tanjiro. So yes, Tanjiro passes against training section, which was obvious because he was way, way stronger than them. And he moves on to Muichiro's training part, which that's where the episode ends. So <laughs> I got to say, I'm actually pretty interested with how they're going to do any more training battles. Because that that whole Tanjiro versus Tengen was fucking amazing. 10 out of fucking 10. 